At times, I feel enmeshed in the loneliness and longing of all things. And I've been on the road for 35 years now, driving hundreds of miles to play for dozens of people. And when I look out at this front yard, I ask myself, what would you rather be? I guess most things are better left unsaid. You can kiss them and put them off to bed. Even quiet and sleeping in your head. This is not you. This is not me. I swear to you, I will hear an exhausted sofa, sigh, longing to be a hammock, tethered between two trees and swaying in Dean and Abby's backyard. The hammock sighs, longing to be a magnificent bed in a luxury hotel where two champagne sipping sophisticates meet for an illicit tryst. The cigarette lighter that they used after their stolen hour sighs in a crazed desire to be the eternal flame, illuminating the graveyard of forgotten soldiers who gave their lives in a forgotten war. The forgotten war sighs, I wish I were just a house concert at Dean and Abby. those practical number two pencils that accountants use? Ever fantasize about drawing body pictures of urban sophisticates in a luxury hotel? Does the luxury hotel ever dream of dropping its facade of rectitude and becoming a flop house, quartering a poet, sprawl on an exhausted sofa, scrawling unpublishable verse? while being pestered by bill collectors on telephone, which grow disgusted at tormenting the multitudes for niggling sums, so the telephones themselves begin orating the Sermon on the Mount. Does the Sermon on the Mount secretly want to be performed in Dean and Abby's front yard? And I'm thinking of sad songs. their vast and intricate histories, an atomic explosion of memory. We might hear the tale of a fleck of lint floating in the air that was once part of a bushman's pelt, which contained the tooth of a saber-toothed tiger, which evolved into an alley cat which was gutted to make the strings of a cello, which entertained elegant guests on a beautiful front yard. A fleck of lint that was once part of a soldier's bootlace, which he gave to his beloved to lace her corset the night before he died in a forgotten battle, in a forgotten war. And that fleck of lint now has nothing but time on its hands to float to the air and sing 
of love, of war, of mythical beasts, of beauty, of poverty, of sadness, of luxury. And that fleck of wind now drifts unnoticed into your beard. And you drink it down, and it sees the joys and the sorrows of your life until you too are buried, forgotten in the earth. But you will rise again as grass, which is eaten by cows who go to slaughter and are served in a luxury hotel and washed down with a beer. And we all get to have a Saturday night at Dayton Abbey's all over again. Thank you very much.